Yo, what is going on guys? Bobby here and today we got another amazing video for you guys. So just a quick update on the push. This is actually, I started playing a couple hours ago. It's actually the first time in 36 hours I was playing. You know, obviously you guys know I'm not doing any crazy push. Not to number one, just trying to play like five, six hours each day and just get, you know, a really good amount of wins in that five, six hours. Not really trying to play 16, 17 hours like the number one does. Like Ash is doing right now, no disrespect to all to Ash. He's just, he's going for it right now. And I'm just simply not... So we're in 11th place right now. We're really close to 10th, uh, 9th place and also, but I am going out again today. So um, again, not pushing too high. Probably going to go for number one for a little bit next season. Not really going to try and hold off for the entire time. Not trying to break any records just because I am flying to San Francisco. I'm going to make a couple videos there. But anyways, back to the point of this video with the tick nerf the BB nerf, the Sandy nerf, you know, there's been a lot of talk about what we think the best brawler in the game is right now, and I think we found it. Even though Shield BB did get a nerf, I believe she is still the strongest brawler in the game, and we're going to represent that in a Siege game, a Gem Grab game, and a Brawl Ball game. So we're going to do two of each mode, I believe. So with that being said, let's hop into the games and let's get things going. Okay, so here we go into the first game here, and I mean, you know, this... Well, I don't know what else to represent, so we're just going to go walk up, just basically show you guys how good Shield BB is. So with the Shield, she's a completely different brawler than she is with the Speed. Now BB, of course, is very OP with the Speed, but the Shield, even right now after the nerf, is still very, very OP. So you guys can see this Rico's trying to kill us. He can't really do a thing, even though he is probably going to end up killing us here. We still got two bolts, which is all our team needs to get that bolt. Uh, or sorry this bot and I mean on the defense BB obviously is really good on the offense She's even better mid control is what she's best at you guys saw I didn't even hit a single shot And I still held my lane and got two bolts there So we're gonna walk up just gonna hit this primo away like we did over there that primo is gonna jump onto our primo We're gonna be able to hit that once and I guess we're gonna go all in why not? Uh, let's see if we can hit a couple of them. Oh, I was going for a kill. We weren't able to do it, but 15% left on the Ike. We should be able to get that with some tick shots, a primo jump, or two BB supers. So we're going to get a hit off over there. Going to use our ball. We're going to get a kill, hit the primo, as well as hit their Ike twice. So just one more BB ball will do it. We don't even have to do anything though, because Flower Mate's going to jump in. And really quickly, that's going to be the end of the first game. So we didn't really demonstrate how good BB was over there, but we definitely dominated what we needed to do. Let's hop into the second game and let's just continue the play and show you guys how broken she is. Okay, so here we go into the second game here. We're going to be facing a Jean, a Jesse, and a Dynamite. So a pretty good team comp. Uh, David's going to be rocking that Shark Leon. Everyone loves Shark Leon. You guys know how it is. Flower Mate's going to be on that Primo. So right off the bat, we're going to be able to get one bolt. We're going to take a swing and knock people back. Now, we probably shouldn't have taken the swing over there because it just got rid of our uh got rid of our shield definitely shouldn't have done that but i mean you guys learn based off of my mistakes a lot so i guess kind of good that i did that but anyways the turret is something that is a little bit of a challenge because we obviously have a melee attack and we have to break our shield right beside it but we're either way we're able to get a hit off over there maybe we can get this kill no wasn't able to do it so we're just gonna have to defend here a couple strategies when defending with bb is you can just gain your shield and stand still like this the bot's just going to attack you and they can't do anything. Or you can just swing away, whatever is better for the situation, uh, what you think. So we're actually going to have to go up here and focus a little bit because we do have to get this bolt or this bot if we want to have a chance at winning the game. Definitely going to get this bolt over here. Going to get a knockback. Going to try and pick this one up. Gina super, we're going to juke out of that. We're going to be able to pick up this one as well, so that's three. Uh, in the last couple seconds, so that's obviously really really good swinging a little bit wildly right here Probably something I shouldn't be doing We're gonna go down over there, but that should be fine I think flower is gonna be able to get both kills up there if not at least one of them But we do definitely have to have a really really good push here So we're gonna move up We definitely shouldn't have died over there because obviously it's not gonna help for the push flower mate looks like he's about to go in I'm gonna join him we're going to be able to take out that Jesse. Oh, almost took out the Gene. Wasn't able to do it. But we're going to get this uh, the Ike low enough for just me to get one more swing and just be able to hit it from far away. Oh, won't even have to. David's going to go 100 IQ sneak and just get on there. It's a really good plays by David. We didn't really represent how good BB was in Siege, to be honest. But, you know, we've done that in so many videos. You guys understand. You guys have faced. You guys know. So let's hop into Gem Grab now. Let's do Gem. Let's rock that BB and let's show you guys how good she is. Okay, so here we go into the next game. Now you're going to see a little bit of a discrepancy in the trophies. And that's just because, unfortunately, we played EU servers that last game. 
the, for, the start was going well. We were doing lane. We were winning lane. We actually gave a pretty good, uh, pretty good in-depth kind of showing on how you want to face another BB if you get if you can't encounter that. But unfortunately, we basically lagged out of the game twice, and it just wasn't really good gameplay to show you guys. Um, we did obviously lose the game as I lagged out of the game twice, so that's a little bit unfortunate. But that's just to explain why I might uh, or why I'm going to have less trophies on my BB than I did last game. So I just wanted to tell you guys that. Obviously don't want anything fishy happening. David's going to go for the pull. Really good pull by David. Flowermate's going to jump over there and be able to get that kill. Um, we're going to have to try and get this kill over here. We're going to be able to do it. David's going to be right beside someone with a good amount of gems. He's going to be able to pick up that kill over there. We're kind of just chilling in this middle. We're going to get a double hit. Hopefully maybe get one more, but I doubt we're going to be able to. So I'm just going to stand here as a tank, kind of pick these up. Oh, David's going to go right into a Rosa. I don't know about that strategy over there. This is pretty interesting because we're actually going to have to back up. And now we are trapped in their spawn with eight gems. So let's see what we can do here. Going to get one kill. Going to get another Let's see if we can get out. Oh, wow. We actually managed to get an amazing pull over there by David. I think David is the real <laughs> reason we managed to get out of that. Really, really great pull. Going to knock back that Rose over there and just walk back. We're going to try and keep our shield unless we're just going to knock them back. Four, three, two, one. Going to make a swing. Knock all three back. Double kill. And that is going to end the first gem grab game. So that was an amazing gem grab game. Got star player over there. Really good pull by David. And really good situation. You know, if you're not a good brawler, you're not going to get out of that 3v1. And obviously, BB just showed how good she was. So let's hop into the second gem grab game. And hopefully, it's just as good as this one. Let's get into it. Okay, so here we go into the next game, and it's just going to be our last jump grab game over here, so something really simple. You guys saw how well we did that last game with BB, so we're going to try and just do the exact same thing. Try and hit this guy into a wall. Something with BB that you want to really pay attention to is where you're hitting them. Um, if you're going to be hitting them into the open, you likely won't be able to hit them after. So if you're hitting them into a wall, like I just did over there, so let's see, I'm going to aim it to the left. Okay, didn't really get it. It kind of worked out anyways, but again, you want to really figure out how to hit people into the wall because that is the most important thing that you can do when playing BB. So again, we're just trying to cycle doing the exact same thing. Hit this guy into a wall over here. Really easy kill. Okay, now they're seeming to be really wanting to focus us over here. David's going to throw his super up there. Oh, it's going to be a healing one, actually. Very interesting. Going to use our super... Going to get a couple shots and again move right back into this bush. We're basically doing the same thing over and over again. Going to extend over there. Let's see if we can hit the snipe. Oh, 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 okay. We almost hit the snipe. Anyways, it's nine to nothing right now. We've literally been doing the same thing for the entirety of this game, which is just hide in this bush and pick up gems and kill people. Let's see if we can get this double kill. Ooh, the Sandy was able to heal, but I think we're just going to continue going aggro for the sake of the video. Gonna try and get a double kill over there. Won't be able to get it. Oh, okay. That was actually a really good BB bubble. Anyways, that is going to end the game. It's gonna end gem grab. Let's move on to Brawl Ball, which is probably BB's best mode along with Siege. Let's hop into it and let's just show you guys exactly what you can do there. Okay, so here we go into the B ball games now. And we're gonna be going up against a really good comp. I was actually thinking that Barley might actually be a really underrated brawler in this game right now. So we're definitely gonna have to make a video on Barley um in the future but right now obviously we got to focus on bb so we're going to just juke those shots over there which are really important to juke uh we're going to get some shots off over here oh really good play by that bb again you guys see us we're struggling against the bb and sandy so probably the two best brawlers in the game oh david almost got the stop there wasn't able to but that is fine so we're going to be down one nothing really early on in this game gonna move back try to take our time over here try to make that bb swing first move back trying to bait out a shot from that bb okay i'm gonna go first basically he played that right oh that was kind of a panic swing by me i shouldn't have done that I'm gonna go here go for a swing and i think they just won the game oh they just choked they really badly choked wasn't a good super over there flowers just got to get a super to control that was a really big waste over there i'm not really sure why flower did that pull Anyways, David just kind of firing away. We still have a lot of time, but we definitely have to get out of this current situation that we're in. Let's see if I can get a hit there. I'm not able to. This BB is doing a tremendous job at killing us, and that is probably going to be the game. Unless Flower can tie it. Ooh, what do I mean tie it? Let's pull it away. But we weren't able to, so that was really, really well played by them. Okay, you guys can see. 
1k brawlers basically that was really really fantastically well played basically do what that bb did don't do what i did that game but anyways let's hop into the next game last game of the video let's hop into it and hopefully we can get a win in brawl ball and show you guys how good bb is okay so here we go into the next game and we're gonna be going up against slash i don't know if this is actual slash because i don't remember his name being yellow but anyways, we're going to hop into this, going to try and hit this spike, going to be able, getting that miss actually, probably got the kill, okay, there we go, got the kill, we're one shot, Slash is going to be able to pick up the kill on us, but anyways, spike is definitely a counter to BB, uh, especially since you can kind of just keep your range and go for the snipes, same with uh, Piper, okay, Slash, oh, it's Clown Garmo, so it probably is Slash, really good BB bubble over there by us, Gonna try and use really weird movement because that's gonna throw them off. All three of these players are really good, so it is definitely gonna be a tough win. Oh, we almost got that second hit on that spike. Wasn't able to do so. Really good clip over there by David on slash. Not trying to feed this spike super again, so we're just gonna go from up top. Obviously, you need to be cautious of that ball. Don't wanna let him score. He's playing these walls really, really well, but here we go. We got a good pinch going, so that's gonna be. A good kill by myself and Flower. We're gonna move up over here. Gonna use that ball. It's gonna be a really great bounce. Gonna move up this right side. Probably gonna get supered. Gonna be able to get that kill over there. So we got a couple kills. We got a couple good balls over there. So we played that really, really well. Unfortunately, we're not able to capitalize though. Clan Garmo hiding in the bushes. Are the walls broken? Okay, so you guys know from the Bravo video that the walls are good when broken. You guys saw, you guys can see David broke walls over there. We're gonna try and get close, but there's really nothing we can do. We're gonna get a double hit though. We're gonna be able to kill Slash probably. Okay, we will be able to. We're gonna use that ball, try to kill Kangarmo. Not able to do it, obviously. So 30 seconds left in this game. They definitely have the better overtime comp. Um, just because Spike and Nita are amazing in overtime, and I don't even have to say Spike is, or Piper is good in overtime, you guys already know that. Anyways, we're doing pretty well, but it looks like they might have this game, actually. Unless we make some type of really amazing play. We're going to go down over here. David's going to go for the kill on Slash. He's not going to be able to get it. A few seconds left. Good clips over there. Flower is probably going to be able to get that kill. But with two seconds left, one... Oh, we're able to make that save. Slash might have just thrown over there. That was actually pretty obvious that he was going to go for that right side shot. So the ball is going to be left in our corner until we can get a kill or two. It's going to be really tough for us, though. Going to get a shot off over there on that spike. We're very likely to go down over here. Uh, we're going to go down. It looks like they're 2v1ing Slash, but they're not able to get anything from it. If you're going to go for a 2v1, it's very important that you get the kill. So we're in this position over here. We're going to grab this ball and we're just going to run up and clear it as far away as possible. But I don't think it's going to do anything. They're going to super pass it to Slash. They're going to have to make a save. Oh, Slash is going to miss the net. He's going to throw again. Okay, so we're going to leave this ball over here. 15 seconds left. Going to pick it up. Start just walking this way. I think we might just go for the tie. I'm not sure. Yep, that's probably going to be a tie. Five, four, three, two, oh, a couple more seconds, we would have had that win, but that is going to end the video. Unfortunately, we didn't get a win in Bravo, but you guys know we like to show you guys the honest gameplay for what happens. Anyway, BB is definitely way better than what we've shown in this video, um, at least in the Brawl Ball set, but she's definitely just very, very overwhelming right now. There isn't really a clear cut number one, which really I enjoy about the balance at the moment. I think Sandy needs a little bit more of a nerf, but BB Dave definitely takes the spot right now. So anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed the gameplay. If you guys liked the video, definitely just, you know, like and subscribe. That's going to be it. I will be back tomorrow with some more gameplay. I'll catch you guys then. Peace.